I'm joined now by the former mayor of Lewiston, now a state representative for the Lewiston area, Kristen Cloutier. Thank you so much, state representative. My condolences to you for the lives lost in your community and to all of those impacted. Thanks, Kristen. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you for joining us. Can you just start, Representative, by telling us what you're hearing from your constituents in the Lewiston community in the wake of this horrific shooting? How are they holding up? Uh, you know, I I think, um, well, considering the circumstances, uh, you know, I think everyone is sort of caught between feeling a little bit numb and then sort of feeling a rush of emotion all at the same time. Um, and I think we're really just uh, trying to make sense of something that actually doesn't make sense. Mm. It, it does not make sense at all. It, in terms of the response from the state and local officials, what has your reaction been do you feel as though they are keeping the community updated on this urgent search that is underway? And are people heeding the warnings to stay inside? Uh, you know, it is eerily quiet on the streets of Lewiston today. Uh, so, yes, I do believe folks are heeding those warnings. Um, I think local and state elected officials have really come together um, to provide support to our constituents um, and to do the best we can uh, to listen to how they're feeling, uh, to validate those feelings, um, and to make sure that we're responding in the most appropriate way. Um, I think it's difficult for our law enforcement professionals because they're caught between really wanting to share all of the information that they have uh, and navigating an ongoing um, search for um, the person of interest. So uh, I think we're all doing the best that we can under the circumstances um, and are really trying to navigate this as a community. I was listening to the governor earlier today. She was understandably emotional as she spoke and she talked about the fact that this shooting has hit at the heart of Lewiston. And she said, but we will heal. Talk about the community of Lewiston, the people of Maine, the strength with which you are all approaching what the governor described as an incredibly dark period. Yeah, uh, so I uh, grew up in Lewiston. I was uh, raised here. I'm raising my daughter here. Um, Lewiston is what I like to call a gritty city. Uh, so it's um, a lot of blue collar workers. It's certain we have Bates College in town, but it's certainly not a college town. Um, the thing about Lewiston that uh, is so endearing to me and the reason why I choose to live here um, is that we really do come together as a community in times of crisis um, and we support each other and we care about our neighbors and we take care of each other. Um, and that is the best kind of community to be in when crisis strikes. Um, and we are also a community that builds each other up um, and that figures out ways to get through crisis together. Um, and we will certainly do that. Um, but I, I do think it's really important for us to take the time to grieve and to mourn uh, and to be together um, and to sort of feel everything that we need to feel um, as members of this community facing such a tragedy. Well, it is still the early hours of this investigation, but by all accounts and based on our reporting, this is someone who had a background in the military, but also had a background uh, in terms of having mental health challenges what do you make of what we know so far about the suspect and the fact that a note was found? Um, you know, because it's an ongoing investigation, um, I'm trying really not to um, speculate about um, the person of interest or the circumstances um, by which this happened. There's been so much information um, from various news sources uh, and from social media that it's really hard to differentiate as um, somebody in the middle of it, uh, what is factual and what is not. And so I'm really trying hard to rely on what information is being given to us in the press conferences that are being held from our local law enforcement, from state law enforcement. Um, 
And so I'm not sure that I can actually speculate on the person of interest or um, what their motivations may or may not have been. Um, it's certainly, you know, difficult to comprehend that it was a somebody who had uh, such extensive um, training um, mm. in in using that kind of a weapon. Um, so I, there's just a lot to grapple with there, I think. There certainly is. State Representative Kristen Cloutier, our thoughts, our prayers are with you and with your entire community right now. We really appreciate your coming on and giving us your perspective. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.